Eyes don't deceive me. I think I see a DeLorean. Great Scott! A DeLorean? That's awesome. Well, that was cool. Seeing a freaking DeLorean randomly. As you can see in the background there. And then this is like my local 7-Eleven I always go to. Know what you'll find on the road of the Blue Nose Adventures. Let me in! Shit, bro! Freaking shit it! Hey boys, hey boys, are we happy? Are we happy today? Yeah, we got the hockey net set up. I'm super stoked. All right, let's go out to the garage and let's start this vlog. You ready? You ready? Let's go. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Blue Nose Adventures. I'm Tommy Talon. This is what we got going on. You can see there is no turbo in the Blue Nose. So it has been sent out to PTE. It is going to need a full rebuild. That's okay, it should take about 10 business days. So in the meantime, what we got going on is I started taking some more stuff in the interior apart. Let me show you here. Well, it's a little bit messy, so work with me. So I started putting in the, so as you can see, I started putting in the leather seats and the Recaros. I still have to put this one in, but before I did, I started to take the dashboard apart. Why did I start taking the dashboard apart? Because I am relocating the gauges into our gauge cluster here and I'm wiring in a new gauge, a new boost gauge right here. Uh, Deffy, um, our buddy Miguel Lopez, represent Miguel. What's up buddy, thanks again for the gauge. That's gonna look really, really good with the Y-band gauge as well. Um, so that is gonna be put in and we are gonna put the normal vents back in here instead of having the two pod there. So I'm just rewiring everything a little bit, taking my time, making sure it comes out really, really nice. So the interior looks minty fresh when it is done. And we have use of the HVAC controls. We have going on, oh look, we have a set of really, really nice Evo 8 black, painted freshly black wheels on tires. They were gonna go on here until, well, let me tell you. So guys, as much as I do love the Evo 8 wheels, and I think they really do look great on a 1G DSM, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be trading them for a set of, wait for it, RX-7 wheels. RX-7 wheels are a little bit lighter, they're 16s, a little more room to have a little more tire, more cushy of a ride, I think, than the 17s will. We've had these before, they're okay. I've been up in the air about whether I wanted to keep them or get rid of them or sell them or trade them, and a good friend of ours has actually just got rid of his DSM Rest in peace, DSM. Uh, but he does have RX-7 wheels left over, and he's willing to trade uh, those for these. Pretty fair trade, I guess, pretty straight up. These are really nice, these are really nice. Um, but we're gonna have in the next video, a uh, color reveal. I'm gonna put up online a handful of color choices for you guys to pick from. So we're basically gonna either have um, black, gray, purple, green, yellow, whatever colors you guys think is gonna look best to go on to the blue nose. What wheel do you think will look best on the car? And what color do you think we should paint, powder coat, or spray paint, or whatever, the new RX-7 wheels? So, we're gonna load these up in the truck, and then we're going to meet up with our buddy. Let's get to the new wheels. Ready, go. All right, let's get this thing. Boot it up. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, these wheels are actually really clean, too. I mean, I just had them freshly painted at the paint shop, um, so they do look really good as well. But I really do think that the RX-7 wheels will be a little bit different, and it'll look a little bit better on the car with 16s when we lower it. So, <laughs> let's load them up and uh, let's see what we got going on. Sick Lamborghini RS! Lamborghini RS Lambo! Woo, it's a Lambo! Freaking shut it, bro! Shred it, Lambo! Shred it! Yo guys, I love catching this random shit. Check this out. Look at this cyclone up on a trailer. Dude, thing looks pretty fucking nice. Hell yeah, cyclone baby. We just got here, the doghouse garage. We got the wheels. Funny story, when I showed up there, I actually saw my buddy in his minty fresh skyline, my buddy Ryan. Uh, too funny to know these guys were friends, so we ended up sharing the wheels, had a couple of stories, and I had to go to work. But now, finally back to the house, and let's unload the tires. All right. Here we go, tired. Bills unloaded there in the garage. We prepped them up for paint in the next week or so. PTE just confirmed that they did receive it. Um, they said about 10 business days and then have to send it out. So I figured about not next week, the following week, probably in the following week. So that's when we'll have it back. So in the meantime, um, I have been working on the interior stuff and trying to get that finished. So let me show you the progress on that. Okay guys, so open it up for you. And the one Recaro seat in. Looking good. The second one, I have to still drill at the bracket a little bit to put it in. 
The leather seats are back in there though. I finally started doing the entire dash. Uh, basically I had everything apart uh, and what we used to have is right here, I used to have the gauges in a two pod right there, but I'm retaining air conditioning in this car. So what we did is we ended up having a gauge cluster that goes right here and I put a new gauge in there. It's a new Defi Boost gauge. Thanks again, Miguel. And that is my Y-band gauge from PLX. Um, having a little issue with it, so I have to have a little bit of a wiring guy look at that for me. Uh, but everything is back in there installed and it does work. Um, the radio is back in, everything is back in the interior. Uh, this was only taken apart a few days ago. I'll put a picture right here. Yep, it was that messy. <laughs> so that is back together. Uh, next, we're going to have the next seat put in. Uh, but for right now, this is looking super fresh, super excited. So when this car gets the turbo back, um, it should be ready to go in the interior part. I had to almost step over this. I forgot this is actually the Kurt mount that is going to rich the Turbo Dad with his 650 horsepower Summit Wagon. <laughs> this thing is still not running right. Um, next thing we're going to replace, I got to order a fuel pressure regulator. A friend of a mine said that that could tentatively be an issue. So that'll be the next thing that we're going to replace on it. And then we're going to put it up for sale. For now, this is what we have. I mean, it's looking very nice. And uh, yeah, you know, slowly but surely, getting everything together, getting everything in here. Uh, we also have some custom decals that are going to uh, be coming in. They're replica decals, so uh, since the car got painted, I didn't have the original ones to put back on, so we're having those. And turbo still out, you know that. The bench is all full of garbage. That's all we got going on for today, guys. So, until next time, we will catch you on the flip side when we get some more stuff. All right, later.